हेलो फ्यूचर टॉपर्स इट इज सेड दैट एवरीथिंग अंडर द सन कम्स अंडर यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन हाउ एवर इट इज नॉट द केस नाउ वेन यू हैव लेस दैन अराउंड सेवेंटी फाइव डेज फॉर यू पी एस सी प्रिलिम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री यू मस्ट फोकस ऑन इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड द प्रोबेबल टॉपिक्स विच माइट कम इन द एग्जाम सो लेट मी ब्रिंग यू द मोस्ट प्रोबल 200 topics in the four parts focused on which has helped me every time to get 130 plus in all of my six attempts so my name is santosh gupta and welcome to the civis daily prelims probable <coughs> topics part 1 and i request you to fill the google form given in the description box to get the key pointers on these topics for a quick and meaningful revision so that you can also score 120 plus in actual prelims exam so without any further delay let's start the topics so uh, 200 topics will be covered from this uh, seven areas from polity economy environment science tech geography in history and art and culture so you are sure that these are the topics you must focus and most likely 95% of the questions will be coming from the these topics only so <coughs> now let's start from the polity so within polity you uh, see there are four major themes polity fundamental topics constitutional aspect uh, that is from the book uh, governance aspect and the legal aspect they are asking majorly from these four topics so Uh, let's start from the polity topics so i have covered here the seven topics from the polity fundamental you must have observed one or two or even three questions every year coming from this kind of question uh, topics what is constitutionalism it is against absolutism wherever you have a constitution it limits the power of government so that the government is does not becomes authoritarian and uh, people have certain rights then similarly uh liberty is derived from the constitutional where there is no constitutionalism there will be no li- uh, liberty based on the liberty uh, there can be rule of law that everyone is punished based upon a certain law also and that law is fair and reasonable then equality what is social equality what is uh, economical equality what is political equality that as it is given in our preamble then what is the concept of justice somebody say justice what is someone is due then there are many multitude aspect of justice that can be uh, <coughs> there then concept of rights so rights and justice are related then there are certain basic concept like socialism gandhism and communism that you must be covered so uh, guys fill fill the form given in description so that i will be sharing with the uh, uh, basics key pointer on this topic so don't have to go here and there then uh, polity topics related to the constitution so of course constitutional development some of you might find that <laughs> constitutional development talks are very difficult to memorize so let's not memorize connect to the contemporary development what is going on and normally you will have three aspect only in each act to check the developments what is going on with respect to people representation in constituent assembly then what is going on with respect to the indian and british relation and what is going on with respect to the societal or uh, political reform they are carrying on carrying out by the britishers only these kind of three developments you have to track from 1857 to 1935 or 1947 then keywords of preamble one is justice one is equality one is Uh, society uh, so- socialism then fraternity so all these keywords you have to understand the basic meaning which can be covered in the first part also then fundamental rights you have 14 uh, article 14 to 32 covering six for types of fundamental rights so everybody spends time on this uh, these topics but my uh, uh, emphasis should be that knowing what are the important judgment what are the articles also within that sub article also what is 14 5 uh, what is uh, 15 5 and what is 15 uh, 6 14 64 15 5 and 65 these are important related to the uh, the 
कंस्ट्रक्टिव और यू कैन से द मेजर्स दैट हैज बिन टेकन टू इम्पावर द एस सी ओ बी सी एस टी और वीमेन सो प्रोग्रेसिव अफॉर्मेशन प्रोविजन्स दैट इज देयर देन विद इन डी पी एस यू हैव टू डिवाइड गांधी एंड सिविल इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल राइट्स सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज गांधी एंड वट इज सिविल एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट की वर्ड्स स्पेशली थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी एट एंड फोर्टी नाइन फोर्टी वन देन फोर्टी एट एंड फोर्टी नाइन आर्टिकल्स देन सिटीजनशिप वट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिटीजनशिप सिटीजनशिप इज द फुल एंड इक्वल मेंबर ऑफ पोलिटिकल कम्युनिटी दैट डिफिनीशन यू मे नॉट फाइंड इन द लक्ष्मीकांत वट आर द टाइप्स द वे यू कैन एक्वायर देर फोर टाइप्स यू कैन एक्वायर देन हाउ यू कैन बी डिप्राइव्ड एंड वट आर द रिसेंट चेंजेस सो सो दैट इज देयर देन विद इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट सेल्फ पार्लियामेंट्री एंड प्रेसिडेंशियल सिस्टम आई थिंक लक्ष्मीकांत हैज गिवन इन अ टेबुलर फॉर्मेट सो ट्राई टू रिमेंबर ऑल द डिफरेंसेज सिमिलैरिटीज एंड डिफरेंसेज वाई इंडिया हैज ओनली पार्लियामेंट नॉट द प्रेसिडेंशियल सिस्टम इज प्रिफर्ड दैट इज ए क्वेश्चन then within the parliamentary system you have uh, in india we have lok sabha raj sabha so what are the major power differences between lok sabha and raj sabha what are the steps in passing a bill then in which condition the bill will lapse and in which condition it will not then uh, a special power of raj sabha that you may have then some of you might find difficulty in understanding on memorizing the committees so you have basically standing department related standing committee which never uh, is in that only members changes then you have uh, within that you have standing committee you have public accounts committee committee on public undertaking and an estimate committee then there are certain ad hoc committee also uh, which are formed time to time like joint parliamentary committee so <coughs> you have to remember that type of committee then there are our select committee also within a particular house then you have other joint committees which has members from both of the houses so that then basic difference between resolution and motions and some of the important motion like adjournments uh, uh, attention seeking motion or <coughs> you can say no non confidence motion so basic difference between adjournment motion and <coughs> uh, the no, non uh, no confidence motion is there so uh, that is the major chapter within that it is a major topic in parliamentary system you have to remember at, at least two questions are assured from this topics then what are the members qualification and disqualification then similarly federal and unitary feature what are the uh, features that we have federal what are the feature we have unitary i think it is given in very properly in uh, there and you have to remember it then center state is especially the legislative in which conditions central uh, can impose presidential rule no, not only on based on the governor report but also under 365 if state fails to follow the guidance or, or direction of center so that is also one case so what are the major areas where parliament can legislate on state topics so that is there also then within constitution itself you have president person versus governor their powers legislative uh, judicial then <laughs> executive powers uh, and also the emergency provisions with, uh, related to all three types of emergency i think all of you are normally read about that within judiciary you have to come do the comparative the study of appointments of high supreme court high court then original and appellate jurisdiction advisory jurisdiction is respect to the supreme court then impeachment procedure which is similar to both high court and supreme court judges then uh, uh, other dispute alternate dispute resolution methods so which is let's say one is uh, लोक अदालत ग्राम कचहरी कंज्यूमर फोरम सो रिसेंटली एक्ट हैज बीन अमेंडेड सो दिस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर देन विद इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी यू हैव सी ए जी ई ई सी आई यू पी एस सी देन एन फाइनेंस कमीशन दीज आर ओल्डर बॉडीज एंड रिसेंटली इट वॉज एन सी एस सी एन सी एस टी एन एन सी सो मेक ए बेसिक कंपेरिजन हु अपॉइंट्स दिम वाट आर द फंक्शन वट इज द ड्यूरेशन सिक्योरिटी ऑफ टेन्योर देन वाट आर द लिमिटेशन what are the work areas 
then who removes then what is the procedure so all these six aspects you make a table with certain exceptions will be there in each of the bodies how many members are there what are the qualifications are there then similarly with respect to statutory bodies cbc lokpal nhrc cic and others the local government is very important all the committees which were appointed and the functions in case of 29 in case of local uh, <coughs> panchayat and 18 in case of urban local bodies then within the <coughs> quality also this yt defection uh, which was introduced in 1985 then what are the condition then elections are very important and we have every year one or more elections in this country so what are the major provisions related to the election model code of conduct and power of election commission this is related to the chapter of election commission then fifth schedule sixth schedule which are the state what are the criteria what is travel advisory council and what are the ut provisions then major commissions and committee which has been appointed earlier so i will share a list later on then <coughs> many of the amendment which are very important like ninth schedule came in for the first amendment itself then 24 25 26 they are related to the basic structure doctrine and parliament versus court dispute that was going on then 42 it is called as mini constitution so major provisions exactly you have to remember then 42 it reversed the major provisions of changes by 44 then recent amendment like 99 to 105 then uh, you have to remember major parts and schedule which contain which then there are recently some of the governments topics which were asked in the main exam is now being asked so you have to uh, you have to cover some of the uh, topics also like rti so there is act also it is related to central uh, information commission then citizen chartered concept of e governance and social uh, audit so what is the basic concept of the indian then cabinet secretary here then uh, chief secretary questions has been asked earlier then some of the major act within the polity so every year is you, you see one or two act is asked act may be older also so it may not need to be from the current affair so pesa so it is related to the application of 73rd and 74th amendment that is related to panchayat in tribal areas Uh, based on the Bhuriya Commission, Bhuriya Commission report, then forest right acts, it gives a tribal certain rights. So major provision of then Aadhaar Act, then Nalsa Act, now this there is a transgender act. So these are the enabling provisions, enabling act in ensuring uh, social or social security or the uh, political equality or governance within the society. So these are the major act. you have to remember their provision so summary is needed you when you do a google basic search you will get but anyway you register the form given in the description and i will be sharing you the basic <coughs> brief details upon all of the topics that is shared so that you can quickly revise and go for the exam itself so these are the committees assam sandal committee raja mannar you know sarkari center state relation then review commission bankat chaliya commission then singhvi committee related to this uh, uh, <coughs> the duties and all so many of the commissions and committee that is mentioned in lakshmikan that thing that is enough and the basic aim that was set up and the basic report they gave so uh, that should be enough in uh, related to this now i have done a a uh, pyq analysis based on the questions and the topic that i have covered you can see preamble one or two question fundamental rights two question every year dpsp two question every year parliament <coughs> you can pause the video here and note down the see the pattern based on the you see parliament two three questions every year judiciary one question every every year now <coughs> so you can uh, coming to economy you have eight major themes i have divided the whole syllabus of economy in these major themes if you see every year some question from each of the themes are coming economy basic gdp gnp etc fiscal policy rbi inflation monetary policy can be clubbed together money market and capital market external sector bop i institutions and like that then agriculture production consumption trade data etc the <clears throat> scheme socio economic development in the last you have demography so economy uh, topics first economy basics related so basics economy what is sector what are the sectors primary secondary tertiary then similarly you have 
यू कैन ऑल्सो डिवाइड इन एग्रीकल डिवाइड इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड अलाइड मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विसेज दैट इज देयर देन नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग हाउ डू यू मेजर द नेशनल ग्रोथ सो वन इज जी डी पी जी एन पी जी एन आई नेशनल नेट नेशनल इनकम देन पर कैपिटल इनकम देन ग्रोथ इंडिकेटर्स हाउ डू यू जी डी पी डिफ्लेटर देन जी डी पी ग्रोथ इज देयर ग्रीन जी डी पी इजर सो हाउ डू यू मेजर द ग्रोथ देन यू हैव हाउ डू यू मेजर द इन्वेस्टमेंट तो सर्टन टर्म्स ऑल्सो फॉर मेजर इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो देन इम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सच एज डिस्गाइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दैट इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया स्पेशली इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर देन वट आर देर स्टैटिक्स हाउ मच पीपल आर इन फॉर्मल इन फॉर्मल देन ऑर्गनाइज एंड अनऑर्गनाइज सो बेसिक डिफरेंस वैन यू फॉलो द सोशल सिक्योरिटी लॉज देन यू आर बिकमिंग फॉर्मल सेक्टर वैन यू हैव मोर देन टेन इम्प्लॉय एंड इन Uh, when you are using electricity then you are called organized and the other are unorganized so there are thin difference between formal uh, organized and informal unorganized sector so <laughs> these are the basic concept of economy i think you would be aware of that anyway you few register uh, <coughs> the link is given in the description uh, we are going to share you the basic uh, uh, some of the pointers that going to help you in quick revision so do guys registered there then economy topics me fiscal policy you can uh, uh, club public finance so taxation direct indirect is progressive uh, and regressive taxation so all kinds of taxation related topics that will come then key deficit fiscal deficit you have uh, revenue deficit then primary deficit then uh, <coughs> effective uh, revenue deficit so by that you measure the target uh, tax to g uh target of india then <clears throat> public debt so all these are the then investment how do you uh, invest in economy so there are private saving there and psu saving then you have public uh, uh, private public savings also by government and government how they channelize their savings then they saving uh, through investment either through psu investment or certain ppc uh, ppp models by engage private sector so within that all the models you have one epc contracts then you have uh, bo2 and vt bo2 <coughs> toll model then you have other uh, other type of toll transfer operate model so multiple models are there to utilize uh, you, then the, in these regard you have this now policy also to monetize the public assets then government is highly trying to include uh, bring the public into the banking sector to avail the financial services to them so financial inclusion rbi and government all of the initiative jan dhan yojana then credit card insurance is there then <coughs> investment uh, measures are there there are uh, schemes also where they can invest so then technological initiative then npci national payments corporation of india which which is bhim and then you have now and the e rupee card then uh, there are uh, uh, is all initiative which are in for the financial inclusion we are supposed to know then monetary policy so these this is the topic which is one of the most important you will find every year three to four question or maybe five question also from this area combining inflation uh and it is better to combine these topics while you are understanding like what is the inflation so types constitution uh, you have retail uh, inflation wholesale inflation then uh, there are multiple may bay of measurement also then which department uh, carry out which inflation uh, and then how do you use public use like cpi il uh, is being used for the da so uh, so inflation and now when come the inflation then role of money becomes important how to control the flow of money so that will bring the uh, either inflation down or inflation up and who will decide that it is the monetary policy committee whose target is to control inflation keep it within the 4 plus 2 minus 4 uh, minus 2 range that is 2 to 6% then coming to the rule of rbi function so rbi is a last uh, resort uh, for lending to the banks then other regulatory functions also are there under banking regulation act 
then RBA also does is a credit control that through different rate like base rate you have MCLR mean <coughs> mean rate which is of lending rate is there then now recently they have changes from MCLR to repo rate based lending policy also then they have repo and reverse repo policies too uh, uh, which is done through overnight auction and uh, <coughs> so it in this way every uh, two months uh, the RBI decided uh, monetary policy and based thought it try to control the inflation so uh, what are the major tools for it marginal standing facility is there so uh, these are the tools credit control then nbfc and cooperatives you know they are also for the giving uh, credit to the people so now bank, uh, all the credit uh, flow re regulations or all the banking regulations provisions are now being brought to the nbfc and cooperative due to multiple scams that are going on then recently payment and small finance banks were also introduced with a specific function so try to understand and function then major reform that has been done recently so guys fill the form uh, given in the description so that you get the basic pointers on all of these topics and you will be able to revise and understand in very simple manner then again in, within economy you have finance topics so these are the basic simple topics and you don't have to go into deeper so what is the role of sebi so <laughs> regulate the capital markets and what are the capital markets which are uh, where the uh, instrument have a tenure of more than one year so that is called capital primary and then secondary market capital market instrument bonds share securities government securities are there then bonds are issued by the corporates then money market instruments are those smaller tenure uh, instruments then <coughs> you have financial sector regulations iida pfrda related to pension and alternative investment now being utilized in the world of startups so angel investors are there which helps through seed fund then anchor investor during the time of ipo then venture capitalist which helps the startup to grow then investment bankers are there during ipo which will buy the extra shares so that it gives you a proper return during the ipo and so that is initial public offering where you uh, company becomes private company to a public company then we, uh, within economy uh, you have external sector now how india interact with the world so one way is to interact is through uh, uh, let's say international policies uh, every country has so one way is your political relation other is economic relation that is through trade and invisible and then people to people transfers there are cultural relation also so within the economic external relations uh, you have uh, <coughs> you have external trade between import uh, so you are supposed to remember what are top 10 export and import countries top 10 export and Im uh, import goods then what are the exim policy uh, recently that is going on what is the government target then the role of major WTO IMF major groups how they affect India and how we are benefiting from it and what are the uh, impact on India then agriculture export and import so uh, within all the export and import and balance of payment which is trade balance that in individual balance plus you have the investment balance so all this taking into consideration we have positive balance because we know in india you have much larger fii and fdi coming into india every year it is growing because india is a favorite destination for world investment so agriculture export and imports and some of the topics related to agriculture uh, <coughs> side is agriculture credit uh, primary and district level agriculture insurance uh, agriculture credit committees I think which questions has already been asked on that then Kisan credit card one of very important successful as being the land reform that were done in 1670s then major agriculture revolution green white blue yellow so what was the target uh, and whether it was achieved or not then PDS reforms and food storage Santa committee report is very important here in this case then industry L policy you have 1990 on onwards it is to uh, disinvest then PSU becoming privatization and industrial finance being coming from the private sector more and more. So government is more focused on this privatization, globalization. So that is the policy and which is indirectly or directly affect the balance of payment situation also. Now the last uh, some of the topics related to development. So recent years 
the topic these topics have less weightage but however nevertheless two three questions are coming so types of puberty you know commissions that has been associated with the rangdal in the last was rangrajan committee we said the puberty report then you have concept of growth and development growth is a linear concept development is a multi multi <coughs> multi level concept uh, and which includes not only the economic growth but the social and economic uh, uh, de- uh, political development also so within the what are the indicators of development hdi human development is a multiple level puberty index then gns gross national health and uh, quality of life index and gdi gia so all these indicator were the basic constituents and what is the rank of india if you can remember then major plan outcome so some of the major was 6th 10th 11th and 12th if you can remember the major theme and the uh, targets achieved that is fine then development schemes so uh, there are certain universal important schemes like narega and others which is important even before the 2015 and the last after 2015 some of the important schemes which you have to remember however do not give too much emphasis to the stable remembering schemes because every year they are not going to ask more than one or two schemes and the last you are supposed to remember along with the concept the submission of the commissions and committee which has helped to assert the reform after 1991 so guys please fill the form that is given in the description so that you can get the <coughs> summarized uh, version of these topics and which can be helped to, uh, you can help uh, take the benefit in quick revision and targeted revision of the 200 topics that you are supposed to remember for the prelims and it will definitely cover 95% of the topics that you are supposed to remember so quickly fill the form and the commissions and committee some of the important that you are supposed to cover i think i have listed it down here and you can pause the video and note down and some of the brief pointers on these related committee you might try to remember if you can now having said that uh, i i am starting a super 25 select group for prelims 23 for the next 75 years uh, 75 days uh, to uh, help with my experience of six prelims qualifying every year 130 uh, with 130 plus score and within that you have 60 tests to attempt so uh, on an average one test every day then there will be one to one mentorship with me then you have weekly zoom call strategy session uh, with me uh, then 50 value addition these are the topics which will be covered in detail so that you never forget and uh, through, through this 50 classes then you have 500 question based on the all the uh, elimination technique that i will solve to demonstrate how you can use the logical method to solve then uh, a core faculty of civil daily will take the current affair classes for 1 and 5 years so that you have everything that is supposed to be covered for the prelims it's covered so guys please fill the form given in the description and all the details is provided in the description for the select 25 group and there will be a general group also which will not have one to one mentorship <coughs> and you uh, you can benefit from the course itself if you do not want that end of internship mentorship program so again i request you to fill the form that is given in the description and benefit from these topics and the, uh, in the very brief which you can help you to recover, uh, revise the topics quick, you know, and get benefit from it so thank you for watching